Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Shavi Zane and I'm coming on to bring a message for the collective. Um, so this message is just a general message just to see what's going on with you all and to give you some advice in terms of what you might need to do moving ahead. Um, some of you might already have an inclination, inclination in terms of what you need to do, but this will just bring a little bit more clarity. And of course, if you want a private reading, you can always email me. I'll leave that in the description box. And also, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you find that my messages resonate with you. So let's get right into it. I got the cards laid out here, and I'm just going to discuss with you all what these things mean, okay? So first of all, I'm seeing that it's very clear that there has been some sort of tower moment because I have the tower card here three times, okay? So there has been some sort of destructive energy that had to happen in your life in order for an unstable foundation to come down. This could be in regards to anything, whether it's your love life, your career, your friendships, family, whatever the case may be, some sort of destructive energy has come in to bring something down. And with this coming out three times, it's showing me that it was a destined um, breakdown. This is something that needed to happen. This could also be in regards to your spiritual belief systems as well. So it doesn't just have to be things external to you. This could be internal revelations. But I am seeing here though that there is a decision that you're being called to make in terms of taking the leap of faith to move towards a new opportunity. Um, I feel like you might have come out of a situation that was very toxic in its energy um, with the devil card being here king of swords knight of swords it's like this energy of someone who might have been very controlling someone who might have been disrespectful in, in terms of their communication or very cold in the way that they treated you i do see with the world card here that this cycle is coming to a close so you're leaving this toxic energy behind you have the opportunity to move towards something that's a greater um a greater opportunity being presented to you with the ace of pentacles here i feel like you no longer want to be in that stuck energy of just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen i feel like this could be for many of you you might have been praying for changes to happen in your life and you know you have this chaotic and disruptive energy that has come in to shake things up but it's all for the sake of transforming your circumstances so consider because you do have transformation coming out two times here both of them having a butterfly in each card so consider that the transformation the death card energy is uh, something that needed to take place in order for changes to happen in your life okay so when you pray for changes the effect of change has to be chaotic energy anytime change is happening something needs to move around in order for you to see that unfold and so i feel like whatever this tower moment is that had to take place in your life is something that needed to happen um and so i feel that um for some of you you're making a decision to move ahead because you're starting to see that this situation cannot be healed it's not your wish fulfillment um and there's not a lot of genuine energy in terms of if it's someone is trying to come back and offer an apology i feel like you might not receive that um because you're looking at the overall energy of this person which is very cold Okay, thank you, which is very cold and, um, um, uh, you know, maybe even disrespectful towards you. So I do see you using this Ace of Swords to cut yourself out of a situation that might have seemed impossible to get out of. Maybe you felt like you was mentally entrapped. Maybe it was a self-imposed entrapment that you had yourself in thinking that you was not able to move ahead from this situation. I do see that many of you... You're in the space of resting. You're in the space of healing. Okay. This is giving you the opportunity to take a break and to really reevaluate um, your past circumstance and to really see, you know, become more optimistic about where things could be headed in the future. Um, as long as you accept the transformations that have taken place rather, rather than resisting them, you want to accept them. Um, so you want to be as light as a feather. I feel like you got the card of nothing will come of this situation. So it looks like this is over. You see what I'm saying? Um, anything that you needed to get out of that situation, you've already gained, whether it was clarity in regards to whether or not you should move forward with person, place, or thing. But I'm seeing here that it's, it's lifted a weight up off of you that's going to allow you to be more free. Um, and also know that you are, know that you are loved. Okay. So in this energy, I feel like if you're dealing with, um, people, so, you know, a person that you ended up having a tower moment with, I'm definitely seeing that, um, 
you know, know that you are loved in spite of this person going cold on you or you may um, being placed in a position where you had to grow cold on them based on a certain amount of toxic energy that they brought into your life. Just know that you are loved. OK, and so um, don't allow don't don't get into that energy of questioning your own value because of the changes that are having to happen here. OK, I feel like these are good changes that are going to work out in your favor as you move ahead. It might not feel like it right now, but just know that. As time goes on, you'll be able to see why these changes needed to happen. And many of you already are aware of that. So the advice that I want to give you is, um, is the advice that I want to give you is move on. Okay. You have the card of step out of your comfort zone. Okay. No, not yet. You have the card of step out of your comfort zone. And then you also have gateway. So it looks like you're moving out of a very dark energy towards something that brings more life into your life, more light into your life, more um, happiness, uh, miracles, blessings, beautiful things that, uh, that await you. Uh, this gateway is now open for you and I feel like it's only open for you. So this toxic energy of your past, they, you couldn't carry this person, place, or thing with you. Otherwise, if you would have tried to take it with you, this gateway would have remained closed. So I feel like you releasing this person is, it was like unblocking some things that might have been withheld from you for a specific uh, period of time until you was able to move ahead from something that was very unhealthy, okay? So then you have don't let your past hold you back, South Node. Don't stay in that comfort zone, that energy of being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Don't let your past hold you back here. Go through this transformation. It's a very necessary one. Allow this thing to be put to rest and just know that you are moving towards victory and success here. Um, and then you also have confidence as your key to success as well as another, yeah, like I said, three cards for the tower. So just know that this had to happen. This was destined to happen. It's not by mistake, okay? Um, and so it's just a matter of acceptance at this point and seeing the opportunity that exists now that you're not dragging this, um, this extra weight with you. So if you're moving away from a person who was very karmic in their energy, that person is going to deal with their own karma. You know, justice, the justice skills will be balanced in regards to that. But you allow the most high, you allow universal energy to give back whatever it is they deserve based on how they have treated you. But in spite of that, you're being called to be more focused on putting in the effort to perfect whatever it is that you've been working on, putting your attention into that, uh, that area of your life, maybe um, saving up your money. Um, and withholding and saving your money and using this as an opportunity to take a break, to get some rest, to get better sleep, to do more meditating and praying. See this very clearly. You've gained clarity now. You, you got the sword of truth and you understand the importance of releasing yourself from this energy of feeling a trap because you was never really stuck. But certain things needed to move around in order for you to be able to take this path and go through this gateway that's now open for you. So just know um, this is a beautiful energy. Okay, this is a beautiful energy. This is a great new opportunity for you. And um, continue to move ahead. Don't become discouraged. Know that your confidence is very important for you right now as you go through this transformation. So work on your solar plexus chakra. Um, and just know that as you step forward boldly, you're going to move forward successfully. I see a lot of success here. So I love you all. If you want a private reading from me, you know what to do. And I'll talk to you all next time.